today I've asked young Selena to come along um, just to see how she's progressing in the game. I haven't seen her for several weeks, so it's a good idea to get together again, Selena. I, I understand that you joined the club that I recommended in Nottingham. Yes. Nice people around there, lovely, aren't they? Yes. Lovely, lovely crowd. Yeah. And the captain of the team, I understand, mm -hmm. has approached you rather than you approach him That's right. and asked you to play for the team. That's correct, yes. Wonderful, wonderful news. It's, you're playing off a, a quite a, a high handicap. That's, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No. <laughs> but equally, you've been ruffling a few feathers and winning a few matches. Yes. <laughs> and they're going, uh, the, the players that you are beating, in a nice way, have been going to the committee and saying she's too good for that handicap. Mm -hmm and they've reduced your handicap. That's correct, yes. Well, I don't believe they should have reduced your handicap mid-season. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, know. D I don't think that's quite right. Mm -hmm. But I can understand the principle as well. Yeah. They don't like losing to beginners. Yes. <laughs> that's basically it. Yeah. You've been ruffling a few feathers. Right. I mean, the ultimate aim, obviously, is to play these people off scratch. Oh, definitely, yeah, one day. <laughs> yeah, so you've only been playing a few months. Mm. Let's just see if I can ask you to play a few shots. Yeah. So we can just see what, what, what progress has been made and indeed if we can take you up to the next level. That'd be lovely. Okay, let me just watch you play a few shots. Okay. <clears throat> that's nice. Yeah, that's all right. Good. All right, can I just stop you there, Selena? Yeah. Okay, just get down and stay there for me. I'm going to ask the cameraman to come round here so we can have a look. Right, so just please try and stay still for me, Selena, yeah. while I just have a look at this. Right, the first thing is, yeah. if you think, we've got a mark on your cue here, yeah. and because of the position of the white ball and where you want to put your hand, yes. you've gone in advance of that mark. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that at all, okay? Yeah. You need to do it because of the position of the white. Mm -hmm. The bridge is solid, and this is solid. But if we come around here, we also put a, a mark, if it's okay with that, we put a mark on your cue. Now that was when we was doing a normal shot. Yeah. Now you have moved your hand forward, but left this hand on that mark. Mm. And that is wrong because yeah. the gap between here and your body is now too large. Yeah. And you're tending to lose control. Yeah. So remember back to our first lesson. Mm -hmm. if, if you move in advance of that mark, then you move that hand the same. So the relationship between the two hands is fairly constant. See, yes. Selena, just look. You move that hand, you move that one. You see what I mean? I Come on, where you go. Good. That's better. Good. Don't worry about missing yet. We're okay. Just try me, try me the blue. And just remember now, you're going to be moving your left hand. The right hand must move as well. Good. Now, just stay down there for me at the ball when you're ready. Now, just for the sake of you and the viewers, of course. Now, we've moved backwards of the mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, you have moved the hand backwards of your mark here. The same amount. Yes. Yeah. That relationship between the hands is fairly constant. Mm -hmm. And if you can get that into, into your mindset, then it will, your game will be fairly more consistent. Yes. Good, away you go. Good. Good. Right, the next thing, if I can just ask you a question now. What do you think the, the feathers are for? You know, when you get down, here yeah. and we we move in that cue 
What do you think they're for? Um, that's to do with the timing of the shot. Yeah. And it just gives you a bit more time to think where you've... So obviously with before, like when you go down to the position of the shot and then you go backwards and forwards, like, so it's more relaxed. And then it, as you go through, it's for the timing and following, the th following it through. Right, well, you're on the right track. But let, let's just take it a stage further. Yeah. Because for me, what it is, it's a rehearsal for the shot mm. you're going to play. If we just get down as an example, yeah. and I've got this white ball, mm -hmm. and all I do is point the cue and that, yes, I can pop balls a few times, you know, but yeah. that will never be consistent. No. Because the consistency comes not only from potting the ball, yeah. but for playing position with the mm. cue ball. So what I am doing here, I like to see a player get this cue moving. Mm. So here, I want to play the white ball. Mm. I point the, point the cue. Mm. I get it moving. I'm rehearsing the shot that I'm going to play. And then I play the shot. Mm. Do you see where I'm coming from? Oh, yes, definitely. So if I can just ask you yeah. to cue across the table, just for a second. Right, now what I would like you to see you do is get this cue moving. So I'm going here, one and two and three. Wait, play the shot. Mm. You get the idea? Yes. So from there, one and two. Good, now we're getting that cue moving, right? Yeah. And that will lead you in good stead for when you drive the cue forward. Right, so let's just... And sometimes I have a habit as well when you take the shot and the pot's gone in, you're supposed to stay down and when the cue follows through, so when you're down, you're supposed to stay there at all the time, every time you take one shot. To the right. One, you know? I'm not going to get too obsessed <laughs> with that, okay? The, the idea is to stay still. What, what you get with youngsters occasionally, mm. the, the head is straight up, they want to see where the ball has gone. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea to get them to watch the ball go in I the think pocket. what it is, though, to stop you from making it so you can see the mistakes that you're making and move, yeah. move on them. Yeah, that's true. But I'm, I'm quite happy that you're staying still, reasonably still on the shot. Mm. I just want to get that cue moving a little bit more. Yeah. OK? OK, where you go again. So I'll, put, I'll go around and put the blue on. It's all right. I'll get the blue in a minute. Just play for position on the blue. Just follow through. Now, stay there, Selena. Again, we're forgetting. It's like, don't move yet. No, don't move. We've gone a couple of inches in, in advance. No, don't move your hand. You've gone a couple of inches in advance of the mall, but you've left this. You must not forget that. Right. Because you'll be losing control here. Mm. Okay? Yeah. All right. Where you go, love. Good. Right, let's play that shot once more. Mm -hmm. And this time, don't be frightened of length. Get that cue moving a little bit longer. So, just cue at the side of the white for a second. Right, so here we go. We're on the mark, yeah. on the two mark. So, one and two and three. Wait, and away we go. Again, once more. One and two and three and we'll go. Lovely. Now, I'm not saying it has to be three. Yeah. I'm just giving you something to work on. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find your own way of doing it eventually. Yeah. Right. So point the cue. Okay. Now nice and long and fluent. Come on. Longer clean. That's it. One and two and three. Good. Much better. Right. Yeah. We're getting a. F it will feel strange initially. All right. Okay. I just. Do that again for me. Point the cue. One and two and three and wait. Nice and long. Come on. Good. Two. Three. That's better. Like it, right? Yeah. Right, let's see you pot a few balls now just doing that. Mustn't be frightened of allowing the cue to do the work. And the best way for it to do the work, rather than your yeah. muscles, is the length of the cue action. Watch Ronnie, watch Sean Murphy, Ali Carter, nice, long, and fluent. Yeah. None of this 
short, jabby stuff. All right? Away you go. That's good. Right, long. Now stay there again, Selena. Now don't move. You're an inch in, van in advance of your mark. No problem. But make sure this hand, don't lose the control at this end here. Go on, where you go now? Good. That's better. Now you, you look so much more in control. Yeah. Right, another couple more things. I just, if I yeah. can ask the cameraman just to come around past us for a second. Right, one of the things that's happening, Selena, yeah. is when you're down on the shot, mm -hmm. your weight is tending to come backwards because you, this, this leg is at an angle like that, exaggerating mm -hmm. it to make the point. Yes. What I like to see is that vertical or even slightly forward, so that the weight is going onto the table slightly mm -hmm. rather than wanting to come backwards. Yeah. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at that. Just get down as though you're going to play a shot. Now, you see, straight away your leg is vertical. That's a much, so much better, all right? In the past, your leg, you, you'd be come back, just... I'd be your like your leg would be down here. Okay, like yeah. do it again for me. Down you go. That's much better. The weight is going forward slightly onto the table, all right? Yeah. Okay, look. Pop me the blue then. <coughs> Now remember, nice long cue action, get it moving. Right, I just say there, Selena. Again, I'm going to repeat myself again. Yeah. Right, be careful with these marks. Okay, you're okay, away you go. Now it's still a little stabby. You're still um, a little bit nervous of, of pulling that cue back. Right, don't forget, we still groove in the muscles to get that cue moving in, yeah. in that straight line consistently. And the truth of it is, it's, it's easier to groove those muscles mm -hmm. with the longer action. We can always shorten it later. Yeah, I think I'm yeah. thinking of the pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, if I want to play, can you come around here yeah, a second? Yeah, yeah. Well, the fact that I'm playing that shot mm -hmm. gently yeah, it doesn't mean I can't use a long cue action. So I'm there, look, that's quite long, mm -hmm. yeah, but I'm still hitting the ball quite s softly. Mm -hmm. I'm allowing the cue to do the work rather than my muscles. Right. And this is what yeah. I don't want you doing. It's getting a, a little bit jerky because of the sh short action. Mm -hmm. And we're getting here, right, and then it's there. And it's that's a stabby it. thing, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. What I, I want that nice smooth action. Come on, let's yeah. go again. Nice and smooth, long and smooth. So just play for the blue again. We'll get the blue on the spot when we go around. Nice and smooth. Right, get it working. Good. One, two, three. Go on, girl. Lovely. Now the thing is with it. Slide there, slide yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that mm -hmm. too much. You're a beginner. You, mm -hm. You're improving. It's great yeah. stuff. There's a little bit of a tendency to do this now. Mm -hmm. Watch me. Watch my body here. Your tendency for you to do this. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's not as bad as that. Of course yeah. it is. I'm exaggerating yeah, just no a bit. Yeah. But what we've got to do is try and stay still here. Long and smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try again. There we go. Stand now. Watch your stance again, Selena. Stay, no, don't move. Please don't move. Stay there. What I want you to do is, you, this right leg look, is at an angle backwards. Just right. move everything backwards slightly, just, just an inch or so. Keep your hand where your key, that is. Move everything backwards. Your right foot and your left foot. Come on. This way. No, backwards. Oh, backwards. That's it. Now your right leg is straight. Right. And the weight is going forward. All right? Yeah. Much better. Good. Now, don't... Stay there. Now, think from me. Allow me to do it. You yeah. keep looking forward. So we're coming from here, look. We're keeping that cube parallel. One. 
and two and three. You get what I mean? Yeah. Okay, away you go. Better, much better. Beautiful, right? Now we will get there. There's your yeah. follow through. Okay. One of the, one of the uh, things that I'm noticing, Selena, mm. you know, we, uh, when we was around there, I talked about doing this with your action, yeah. slightly, only slightly. Mm. One of the reasons for that is because I believe you're not quite releasing the fingers of the back hand mm. enough, right? So if you can just cue along the uh, centre of the table there, we don't need a ball for this, okay. right? Now it's much better stance with the weight going forward, right? Yeah. Now as you come back here, just release those fingers. Now feel this gap here between the cue mm -hmm. and the heel of the hand, yeah. yeah? That allows you to keep the cue parallel with the table. And then as you go forward, the hand closes and you come up to the body. All right? Much better. Yeah? yeah? And that will tend to help you, hopefully, with your up and down movement of the cue. Oh, yeah, We're trying to keep the cue a little more parallel than, with the table than you have been doing. Longer and more parallel. Good girl. Well, let's see if we can put that into practice with a couple of shots, okay? Here we go. There you go. So, nice and long and a little more release of those back fingers. Good. Stop on the back swing for me. Let me have a look. Stop there. Selena, that is beautiful, right? Much better. Okay, and carry on with your feather in and then play the shot. Good, good, good. And play the shot. Nice. Right, now the only thing now, you can get up, get up for me. The only thing now, that was partly my fault, a little bit slow and mm. deliberate with your feather in. It's like one, Naturally, two. Naturally, yeah. I wouldn't do it. No, obviously. I understand that. Yeah, yeah what we, rhythm is very important mm. to a snooker player. Rhythm is, is so important, mm. you know, to get a feeling. So try and get that that method, yet also with a rhythm, yeah. right? So we're here, point the cue, one and two and three, wait, play the shot. You get the drift I'm yeah. on about, lovely. Come along then. Now, nice and long, smooth, plenty of release here, okay. and a nice rhythm. Now, don't get stopped there for me. Don't get too far in advance there and leave this here. Good, because you're widening the gap between the hand and the body right. and you'll lose control. Okay. Away you go. Much better. One and two. Good girl, that's it. Beautiful, right? Now just play uh, a few positional shots using that technique because it will feel different, yes. you see. I understand that. So if you can get the blue out for me as well. Yeah. Good. Okay, start with the red, Selena. Uh, please, don't be frightened of, of that nice long cue action. Nice and smooth. We can all shorten it later if we need to. All right? Yeah. Away you go. Right, don't worry about missing, not yet. Not too important. I did something about the yeah, yeah. Well, so because I've put your attention into something else, you're forgetting about it, but that's fine. <laughs> what we've got to keep doing it and keep doing it till it becomes natural. Don't worry about it. Now you're hitting the ball in the middle, nice and long, come on. One and two, good. Look at that, beautiful, all right? Absolutely gorgeous. Come around here and try the blue for me. Now we're just potting the blue here. We're just play me a little stun shot or soft screw shot into this area here. 
put the red into that pocket. Good. Stop there for me. Now we've gone in advance, don't move. Gone in advance of the mark, we need to come out. Good. So we don't lose this control here. Where you go. You know, come on, don't jerk it, keep it smooth. One and two, that's better. Good. Much better. Okay, we've lost the white. Yeah, a little bit too much muscle power. <laughs> yeah. All right, just imagine that's the blue again. And we're playing the white into this area. Keep it going. Good, that's fine. All right, now we've just allowed it to escape from us that time. All right, come on. Don't forget to chalk your cue. Good. Now stay there again, Selena. We've, we're sloping back here on this leg again. Everything needs to come slightly backwards, away from the shot a little more. Just a touch. That's better. Good. Now lower on your white, lower, that's it. Now longer, one, and two, and three. Good, okay. Something to work on. So first and foremost is the stance. Yeah. So I like the weight to be going forward. forward. Only slightly, don't yeah. overdo it. And then a longer cue action, trying to establish that rhythm. So we point in the cue, one and two, whatever that rhythm yeah. is. It's an individual thing, mm. of course it is. Yeah. But equally, it's quite essential. Yeah, of course, yeah. So what I want you to do when you go away now and, and you do your individual mm -hmm. practices, I want you to think about A, the stance, mm -hmm. right? You're a little bit narrow with your, with your stance, so widen that left foot. Okay. And we're talking little pieces all yeah. the time, not, not more, uh, massive adjustment. Secondly, stay away from the shot a little more mm -hmm. so that the weight is going forward onto the mm -hmm. table rather than coming off it. Mm -hmm. That will add to the stability. Yeah. The next thing is, I would like you to keep this cue parallel with the table a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So that encompasses a bit more release of these mm -hmm. rear fingers in the grip. Yeah. And that, that will help you, A, to get the cue moving on the length mm -hmm. that I want it to move, but also stop you lifting up and down, mm -hmm. you know? And that's why this release will help that. Yeah. So, the stance is important, of course it is. Mm -hmm. Nobody's saying it's not. So we need to get that, that worked out. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing really is this grip. Mm -hmm. We get that working, right? And, it, and I promise you, it, yeah. will, it will come. But you need to have a lot of practice and a, a little bit of patience with mm -hmm. what you're doing. And sometimes, you know, you reach a level and then to get to the next bit, you have to go backwards yes. just a little fraction yeah. and then hopefully move forward. Yeah. Selena, I, I am really chuffed with the way you're making progress, you're considering the short time you've been playing. Mm -hmm. You're obviously in love with the game, yeah. and that's great to see. Ho hopefully yeah. we can work again in the future. Yes, that would be lovely.